What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. First and foremost, I want to thank you guys for subscribing and tuning into the video to the channel and to the videos of course and giving the thumbs up and always commenting on the videos. I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Let's try to get this channel to 8,000 subscribers guys before I bring in another project that we're going to be working on but I <clears throat> if you guys have noticed because a few people have reached out to me and said hey you're doing these sections now where you're like sitting in front of the computer and you're talking about like things that are happening in the automotive world and I said yeah pretty much I wanted to bring in a section into the channel which was like this where we talk about things that are happening in the automotive community news that are coming out things that Motor Trend is talking about and Mund is talking about things that are happening in the automotive world we're going to be discussing it here with me in the comments and and we're just gonna enjoy it so anyways let's get down to the video and we have a no reserve dodge demon 170 coming up in the auction block we'll let break the record for the dodge demon let's get into it all right guys so let's get into it we're gonna be talking about the dodge demon 170 actually not the dodge demon 170 we're gonna talk we're gonna be talking about a dodge demon 170 that is expected to break the price barrier over at the auction coming up so we have a dodge demon 170 going up for the auction it is a fully loaded dodge demon 170 and let's get into why some of the reasons why it's expected to break the price barrier for this vehicle so now let's get into it real quick what a dodge demon is we'll show you some pictures here so dodge demon was dodge's last hurrah pretty much a thousand a thousand horsepower hemi motor the first ever highest horsepower, highest horsepower Hemi ever created, going over a thousand horsepower to 1025. Now this is this came out in 2023 and it was a limited run number. They are pretty expensive. They were pretty expensive with an MSRP of ninety six thousand dollars. We're going over the uh, we're going over the article here, getting some pictures and stuff like that. Ninety six thousand dollars was the MSRP on this vehicle. But the problem is that when you do the add ons and when you add all the options and stuff like that, you were well off into the 140s, almost to 150s. Now, every Dodge Demon that has gone through the auction block has broken over two hundred thousand dollars, but none of them has gone with these kind of options. So we're going to talk about this one. This is a lovely green color. We're going to talk about the green, the, the color, the name of the color code. And we're going to talk about all the options that this one offers but there's a little bit of a hidden 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 secret where every dodge demon that has gone through the auction block has gotten over two hundred thousand dollars but they have progressively come down now none of them have been fully loaded like this one so let's get into it and let's see why this one could break the price barrier and when it's going off for the auction all right boys and girls so this vehicle is expected to go up on March 9 at Glendale, Arizona, lot S211. And it is expected to break the price barrier because this vehicle is, it, it is pretty much packed with a lot of high dollar options that were available, that are, <clears throat> that were available, excuse me, because the Dodge Demon is not sold anymore, that were available when you bought this vehicle. So this vehicle's MSRP was $96,000, but it has over $40,000 in options. This vehicle right here, this Dodge Demon vehicle, is the one that is out of all of them that got sold this one is the one that has the most options including the two-piece carbon fiber wheels it's got the moon roof it's got the sunroof it's got a bunch of stuff that we're going to get into it let's look at some of the pictures here we're going to start with the front end and we can see the front end here that looks amazing i love the front end i, I love the colorway a lot because this is the subline green colorway i love it but i just love the challenger front end and by the way i gotta say that at one point i was working at the dodge dealer I'm, I'm 38 now, but back when I was in my early 20s, I was working at the Dodge dealer, Planet Dodge here in Miami, Florida, and I sold one of the first 2000 model Challengers that came out. They were automatic and it had like a plug on the, in the dash that said one or two or, or a thousand or whatever number you got out of the first 2000 that got sold. But nonetheless, this one is a very cool, a cool one. And, and we just have to watch and see what happens at the auction at Glendale March 9 because this one could break the sound, the, look at me, the sound barrier, the price barrier because of how many options this one has. This one is completely fully loaded. So the first one that was sold was a black colorway. And from then on, the prices have progressively come down, still staying over $200,000, making profit on this vehicle. And another subline green also sold at two hundred and fourteen thousand dollars. Now, 
it's going to take a special kind of bidders to buy this vehicle somebody who's an enthusiast to dodge i mean you are buying the dodge demon 170 thousand horsepower thousand twenty five to be exact dodge demon which does the quarter mile in under 10 seconds it is an amazing vehicle but let's get into some pictures for more pictures we're gonna look at the engine bay we're gonna look at the interior because this car is badass this car is the definition of badass all right so we start here the first picture it is the front end we see that beautiful hood scoop and we see that black stripe let me move the phone over here that black uh, design in the middle of the hood that just looks amazing we see a side view so we can see here that these are the two piece carbon fiber wheels that comes in this engine and in this vehicle this is the engine your big hemi power pushing out 1025 horsepower just looks amazing i just like you, it, this car looks like it wasn't even like built by like a dealer or by like not a dealer by a by a company it looks like it like like a fabricator built the vehicle like it looks so cool the interior i love this one is obviously brand new we can still even see the wrapper on the seats here the interior i love is obviously changed a lot from like the one that i sold uh that was that were uh, the number 2000s that first came out we can see the big two-piece wheels here we see a side picture here just looks amazing i love the over fender that they did on this car and i think that this colors has to be my favorite to be honest with you this has to be my favorite um vehicle with this colorway now we can see the badge here under the air conditioning that says demon number 282 big trunk space engine just looks amazing for some of the people that don't believe that the actual wheels are carbon fiber we can see here that they definitely are carbon fiber these wheels just look amazing now <clears throat> this vehicle was a low production vehicle so come around glendale arizona saturday march 9 are we going to see this vehicle hit the top numbers or are we going to see a fall short as the other subline green colorway that fell at 214 500 just a little bit over two hundred thousand dollars the first one that sold that was the black one was two hundred and forty seven thousand dollars but then this one being fully loaded with everything it has are we going to see it break the record at the auction at the mecham auction once again i think these have to be this has to be like a special kind of buyers or bidder who are especially enthusiasts to this vehicle and are looking for exactly this vehicle. It's not a lot that you see a Demon 170 go through the lot at the Mecham, but yet again, we are seeing them going over that 200 mark, but that is the key question. So we have to tune in Saturday, March 9 to see uh, this vehicle, see if it actually break, breaks that price barrier. Let's get into some specs about the Demon 170, what it comes with it, what it features. So this vehicle is what you, this is what you would see from a company building a real drag racing car. It's like, if, it's like if Chevy or Ford told you we're building this car and this is a specifically a drag racing car that's gonna break freaking records off the line and off the lot. So this vehicle comes stock, 1,025 horsepower, 940 feet pounds of torque and it does a 0 to 60 at 1.66 it is the fastest quick the fastest production car to ever go 0 to 60 stock out the line it doesn't it does an 8.91 quarter mile at 151 and it looks killer that car looks killer it's a 6.2 v8 supercharged and it brings a bunch of stuff so like it brings the rear flares it brings the air grabber hood, Mickey Thompson's front and rear, 245, 55, 18, 315, 50, 17. It's got a drag suspension for when you're out to the track. It's got Brembo 4 pistons brake. It brings a trans brake 2.0. It brings 309 rear gear axle. So that car on the highway does pretty good, believe it or not. Um, cloth driver's seat, high intensity discharge headline, which is AHID. It's just a bunch of stuff that it offers. It does come in a bunch of colorways. It comes in the white knuckle, pitch black, granite, subline green, blue, frostbite. It's got a bunch of um, colorways, and there are different prices for the colorway. Now, you could get it in the two piece carbon fiber wheels, or you could get it in the forged aluminum wheels. Just the add on on the two piece carbon fiber wheels is an extra 11 thousand dollars add-on to that 11 11 500 uh to be honest um on that add-on again so yet again making this car very special and very rare because this one has all the options in it anyways leave a comment below tell me what you guys think march 9 we're going to be tuning in for this demon to go to the auction block will it break the price barrier let me know 
before the auction comes around and let me know what you guys think will it go over two hundred thousand dollars i mean it's definitely gonna go over two hundred thousand dollars but it will, will it break the price barrier of the first one that was sold at 245 or will it even break the price of its brother subline green of 214 i'll see you guys in the next one remember to tune in and subscribe and your boy is out